G'day cunts. Back again for number three. Who'd have thought? Uh, lots of feedback from people, so thanks for that. Um, keep in mind this is deliberately budget. Uh, this is The whole reason I did this is in response to finding out that people were actually paying for fucking reviews from professional reviewers, which is the biggest load of wank ever. What's the point of paying someone to say nice shit about you? So again, these are honest reviews. Um, either stuff that bands have sent me or stuff I've found. Um, yeah, no cunts paying me money for this. That's why you'll hear honest opinions, and that's why some of these are, are going to be less than positive reviews, and some of them will be positive. If they're positive, it's just because I like them. If they're negative, it's because they're shit. Um, so yeah, off we go with uh, number three. First up is Grim. Grim are a kind of hardcore, grindcore mess of a band out of Sydney. Um, when I say mess, it's a glorious mess. This album is their self-titled release from last year. And just on that, everyone's releasing self-titled albums and EPs lately. Have a bit of imagination. Give it a fucking name. Self-titled is so boring. Uh, that's the only boring thing about this album, because this album's fucking great. Uh, I love this guy's guitar tone. Macca's guitar tone is just brutal. Um, sounds like early Napalm Death in the best possible way. This album is 12 tracks of goodness. Vocals are great. You can actually tell what the guy's saying, which is, again, one of my bugbears for any kind of grind or hardcore or death metal. A lot of the time, the, the growled vocals are so unclear. Who knows what he could be fucking singing about? He could be singing about fucking ice cream or fucking kids. You wouldn't know. This guy, Luke, you can actually hear what he's singing about, which is good. Uh, which And the lyrics are strong too, which, you know, is good. Um, the, the killer for this is the guitar. It just sounds fucking great. Um, no repetition on this at all. The other good thing about this is there's 12 tracks. There's loads of riffs. Even though most of these tracks are short, there's great riffs in all of them. Sometimes more than one genuinely great riff. Um, Live, Die, Rot, which you can hear in the background now. That's one of my favourite songs of any genre for the last couple of years. It's a fucking hell of a song. Uh, this was recorded by Jay Wally at the Pet Food Factory. If you don't know who Jay Wally is, Friends of Rom, Neptune Power Federation, Nancy Vandal, Bat Jay. Um, obviously, he knows what the fuck he's doing because this sounds awesome. Now, I have seen these guys a lot of times live. They sound good live too, but he's really captured that. Um, a lot of bands that you see live, when they come out with their first record, it's like, eh, not the same. These guys, uh, they've done a great job of this recording because it sounds like them live. I'm going to give this one four serial killers out of five. Um, this is a really good album, Grim, self-titled. Yeah, the only criticism, if there is one, is I'd like some solos in there. I'd like some lead work every now and then just to mix it up. But yeah, other than that, you can't fault this for a record if you like hardcore if you like grindcore if you like tough fucked up music this is definitely worth getting off Bandcamp. um and if you see and get the chance to see them live when all this fucking lockdown shit's done go see them they're a great fucking band and i get the feeling that if these guys took themselves more seriously they could be fucking huge on the heavy music scene everywhere not just australia um just a, a really really fucking good album go listen to it if you like heavy stuff it's well worth the listen. Next up is a band called Dead. Uh, these guys are a two-piece out of Victoria, I think Melbourne. Um, very hard band to pigeonhole. Are they post-hardcore? Are they noise rock? Are they alt metal? Uh, they're all of these things. Um, they are bloody good. Live, they are one of the loudest bands I've heard in a long fucking time. Uh, and this album's a bit different because normally they're just bass and drums. They've actually added some guest musicians, there's some guitar in this one, there's some synth, and the guy from Defectro uh, is actually on there as well, making some kind of crazy fucked up industrial noises on a couple of the, the tracks as well. This was a real eye-opener. I expected it to be good. I didn't expect it to be this good. Uh, the guests haven't taken away from it, they've actually added to it. Every song on this album is different. Uh, they close with a 13 minute song, which, you know, is a bit ambitious, but fuck me, it's great. Um, 
this album just kicks from start to finish. The drumming is brilliant. The drumming is brutal. Uh, and the thing about this band is they take, when you listen to them, you can hear lots of other bands, but only little bits. They're not stealing anything. They sound like dead. They don't sound like anyone else, but you'll listen to little bits and pieces. They take the best bits from a bunch of other bands and throw them together into a fairly unique package. Um, recording quality on this is fucking top notch. And this really benefits from being played in a good stereo. I've played this on uh, the phone, on speakers, headphones, in the car. If you're going to listen to this, use the best system or stereo that you have because it really makes a difference. There's a lot going on in this, um, particularly when the synths and the other noises kick in on some of the tracks. Just beautifully produced, beautifully recorded. The riffs are brutal. And they have this thing that they do where they get into a good riff and they just pound down on it, kind of like a, a shellac or a mark of cane where they'll grab a great hook and just pound away at it. Um, I'm very enthusiastic about this album because it's great, it's something different from the run of the mill. Um, you know, I just love this and it's, um, it's almost prog rock in parts, but don't let that scare you, like it's not wanky prog rock, like you're not going to be a Tool fan fuckwit if you listen to this. Uh, I'm going to give this four and a half dodgy haircuts out of five. If you'd seen their bass play, you'd know what I mean about dodgy haircuts. Sorry, Jace. Um, but yeah, this is a fucking hell of an album. Probably my favourite new thing this year. Four and a half dodgy haircuts out of five. Dead, raving and drooling. And the artwork on this. You look at the art, the front covering, like, what the fuck? And that is the reaction that you'll get quite often during listening to this, where you hear stuff and you know, what the fuck is going on here? It's nuts, but it's good nuts. It's a fucking great album. You should get it. Do as you fucking told. Next up uh, is a band called Grizzly Shark and their new single, Vicarious. Um, I don't know where Grizzly Shark are from and frankly I don't fucking care. This is bad. Um, it's in a genre they call Easy Core. Now I'd never heard of fucking Easy Core before so I looked it up and apparently Easy Core is a mix of pop punk and hardcore it's taken the worst of both into one fucked up package um, the whiny American vocals I'm guessing this guy's never left the country it's always the way with these cunts that put on fake American accents now, tell me I'm wrong if you're listening grizzly shark you know tell me hey I'm from America but you know I'll be fucking surprised because it's just lame the worst horrible whiny pop punk vocals budget riffs and then occasionally some screams which really seem pointless um everything i hate everything about this from the band's logo which looks like it should be on some fucking hipster's shirt um even in their film clip which they've put a lot of work into to be fair the film clip's not terrible but they even look like people i wouldn't want to know um people that I would cross the street to avoid because they just look like insufferable twats. This is a terrible song. I'm going to assume they're terrible people just based on it. No, it's just the worst insipid, weak, dreadful, oh fuck, I don't even, I run out of bad things to say, it's just awful. Uh, there ought to be a law against fake American accents when you sing, if you're not American. If you're American, you know, that's your accent. Fair enough. If you're not American, why do you want to sound like an American? Fuck off with that shit. It's lame. This whole thing was lame. I get the feeling these cunts take themselves way too fucking seriously. Stop it. You're not very good. Consider doing something else like driving a bus because this is fucking dreadful and I hate it. Uh, some of you might like it if you like shit pop punk you might like it but then again you should punch yourself in the face I'm gonna give this two and a half dog shit I stepped in on my shoe out of five because that's what it reminds me of dog shit I stepped in in my shoe horrible I feel dirty after listening 
No, thank you. Next up is The Muslims, with an album called Gentrified Chicken. I don't know, it's a fucking ridiculous name for an album, but whatever. Um, normally I only do Australian stuff, um, but this is a three-piece, um, three queer people of colour out of Durham, New York, I believe. This is fucking amazing. The previous band I reviewed, Grizzly Shark and that shit song, uh, that was everything that was wrong with punk and alternative music and this album is everything that's fucking right with it just top notch it's very diy um but the lyrics are fucking on point some of them are hilarious some of them are just brutally scathing and angry and political um, vocals the vocalist reminds me a bit of um cat from babes in toyland um but also the way and some of the angrier songs that, that it's delivered is very rage against the machines at de la rocha kind of just pure anger um, some of these songs are angry and it's proper anger it's not that fake three white guys playing instruments their dad's paid for kind of anger that you get a lot in punk these days these people have a lot to be angry about it shows but some of the stuff is also fucking hilarious um, even the song titles blame it on Muhammad um, punch a Nazi death grab for booty and um, they close out with a brilliant, it's called Blink 911, What's My Race Again, which is obviously Blink 182's What's My Age Again. Uh, they've redone it with hilarious lyrics about being black and being hassled by the cops. Um, this is great. This album is everything a punk rock album should be. It's part punk. There's a bit of hardcore in there as well. Um, some of the songs are just straight ahead fast and furious others have a bit of variation there's some good riffs in there as well um i'm gonna give this also four and a half dead cops out of five um yeah fuck this is this is great the only downside to this is because of the exchange rate right now if you want to get it off Bandcamp, just for the download it's about 20 bucks but it's still worth it this band is great. Someone promoters out there, when everything is back to normal, bring these cunts out to Australia. I reckon there'd be a cracker live show. Lyrics are great. Music's great. Vocals are great. Uh, it's got that nice DIY scratchy recording quality that really is endearing. Um, yeah, fuck, I love this. The Muslims, gentrified chicken. I don't know what a gentrified chicken is, but I'd like to find out based on this. This is great. Four and a half dead cops out of five. Next up, the last one, uh, thank Christ, is a band out of Wollongong called Don't Praise the Machine. Uh, they are like Dead that I reviewed earlier in the segment, uh, a two-piece. Uh, the album or the EP is called Pyrophyte, which I didn't know what the fuck that meant, so I looked it up, so here's your education for the day, cunts. Pyrophyte is a plant that is resistant to fire. There you go, you've learnt something. Who knew? Who fucking cared, right? Anyway, this is quite a likeable little EP. Um, I would hope that these guys gave Dead a listen and heard what they could potentially be in the future. There's definitely some promise here. I don't think this is quite there yet. Um, nice sound. Bass sounds huge. Drumming's good. Um, they do add some synths in, and the songs where they add synth are the real standouts here. So that's maybe something to consider. The thing that put me off with this a little bit was the vocals. The vocals are quite flat. And monotone, that's just his style, um, not my thing. A bit of an American e twang in there, which when you're from Wollongong doesn't work for me in some songs. But what I did like about this is when the second vocalist came in at the same time and they kind of harmonised, it really worked. So that's something maybe they should think about doing more often. Um, overall, not a bad album. I'd give this three and a half overzealous police giving fines to people out of five. Um, yeah, not bad. I'd like to hear more from these guys. I get the feeling they've got a really good record in them somewhere. Keep it up. Anyway, that's a wrap for today. Get fucked. <laughs>